give Gwen and Ethan their baby back. This is my baby. Dr. Russell, I am not giving her up. Oh, Teresa, this is Dr. Carlisle. She's the neonatal specialist that I called in. Nice to meet you, Teresa. Nice to meet you. I've never seen a woman so attentive to another woman's baby. Uh, Dr. Carlisle needs to examine the baby now, Teresa. She's yours. Mama, I am sure. I feel it right in here. Dr. Russell. Thank you, nurse. Excuse me, Mama. Dr. Russell, what is that? Teresa, you say you're sure that the baby is yours. I'm positive. And what if you're wrong? What if the information in this file proves that Gwen is the baby's mother? Gwen's the baby's mother? You have proof? Blood tests were taken. So the, the baby isn't mine? You heard Eve. The baby's Gwen's. Blood test was conclusive. She isn't mine. Actually, Teresa, there is no blood test. What? There is no blood test. I have no idea whether that baby in there is Gwen's or yours. You lied to me? No. No, I didn't. Asked you what you would do if I told you the baby was Gwen's. She's right, Mia. I don't have time for these games, Doctor. My baby needs me. Oh, Teresa, honey, I'm trying to show you that you are not nearly as sure that that baby is yours as you think you are. It's just as possible that that baby is Gwen's. You tricked me. Teresa, no. No, Mia. You did this. You convinced yourself. That that baby is yours because of this insane notion that you have that Ethan is going to leave Gwen for you if the baby is. You are going to drive Gwen to madness if you take that baby away from her. How many times do I have to remind both of you that Gwen and Rebecca stole my child from me? And they didn't care about my pain, did they? They didn't care about how my family suffered because of me. That is, I know. We all know, but Ethan and Gwen have promised to give you little Ethan back in exchange for this baby, and you even signed papers. I don't care, Mama, because I will find some way to undo those papers. Look, there is a 50% chance that that little girl in there is mine, and I'm going to keep her. I finished my examination. And how's the baby? Stable, but critical. The next 48 hours will be crucial. Excuse me. I sense tension. Everything all right? It's just the situation. Yes, the situation. I understand. I'll continue to monitor the baby and page you for condition warrants. Mrs. Lopez Fitzgerald. Thank you. Dr. Russell. Mm -hmm. Ms. Lopez Fitzgerald. Alistair Crane requests the honor of your presence later tonight at a party at the mansion. Formal attire is preferable. I don't believe it. Well, believe it, ma'am. And don't be late. You either, Dr. Russell. Is it just me, or did she just threaten us to come to this party? No, it's not you, Eve. It's Alistair's way. He never takes no for an answer. I wonder who else is invited. Alistair's assistant gave us these invitations. Yeah, yeah. We got them, too. Uh, and 
And I, I think it's best if, if we all attend voluntarily. Being forced to go could get uncomfortable. Why now? Why tonight? I mean, Teresa just had the baby. Ma, well, you know, Alistair doesn't give a damn about anyone but himself. How is Quinn's baby doing? Oh, the baby's in critical but stable condition. Hopefully, the next 48 hours, she'll have turned a corner. How's Teresa? Well, she's uh, strong enough to be with the baby. Now, why is Teresa with the baby and not Gwen? It's complicated. Really, Eve? How so? Well, until the papers that Teresa signed are filed with the court, giving Ethan and Gwen their legal custody as the biological parents, Teresa is the mother of record. At least for now, she's legally entitled to be with the baby. Well, oh, Gwen must be a wreck, not being able to be with her own daughter. She was. So for her own good, I, I had her sedated. Well, I'll go see her when she wakes up, then. No, I, I think it would be best to wait till tomorrow, maybe till after we've answered your father's summons. I don't know, but I, I don't have a good feeling about this party at all. No, I don't think you should. He's doubtless up to no good. Well, I think Allison would be very hard-pressed to top the fact that he never told us that Chad was our son. Do you know that he actually loaned Chad money to take Whitney out on a date? And how sick is that? Don't we all hate Alistair for something, but why? Why invite us to this party? Father wants to split Louise and Sheridan up for good. Oh, God, not again. No more. Calm down. Okay, Alistair can't do anything to harm Sheridan and me. Never say never, Luis. Not when it comes to Alistair. He let Rebecca take little Ethan away from Teresa. He took away our home, our jobs. And poor Miguel left town to find work, searching for charity. And his leaving so soon after Antonio's death, it's... Yeah, Alistair killed Antonio, and then he tried to kill me and Sheridan and kidnapped Paloma. I would kill a man for everything he's done to our family. I could kill him, too. We could all kill Alistair. Well, let's not forget that Alistair's trying to crush all of us and hasn't succeeded. Tonight's not going to be any different. That old man isn't going to be able to do anything to any of us, and Sheridan and I are still going to have a wonderful wedding. Oh. You two are getting married? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, Julian's actually going to help us. He's going to have Antonio declared legally dead so we don't have to wait seven years. To... And we don't mean Antonio any disrespect. It's just that we love each other so much. Oh, I understand. Trust me. I waited 20 years and didn't do anything about my marriage. And I've lived to regret it. Thank you, Julian, for making it easier for Sheridan and Louise to have happiness. It's my pleasure, Paula. It'll be wonderful to celebrate Luis and Sheridan's love. No, I'm so happy for you both. We all are. So, what do you think Alistair will do at this party to try to break the two of you up? We don't know. Father told Julian that he could do it with one word. Yeah, whatever. We are going to have a wonderful wedding no matter what, you hear me? Gosh, you know, I feel like if I hadn't gotten sick, we would have nothing to worry about. You could have exposed Alistair at the Founders Day dance, mijo. Instead, you chose to trade in all that evidence so that he could help me get the experimental drug that saved my life. That's right, and I'd do it all over again if I could. Now, listen, one of these days, Alistair's going to slip. And that day, I'm going to kill him. Yeah, well, I don't think heaven would consider killing that man a sin. The world would be a better place with Alistair dead. Despite her faults, Mrs. Wheeler did try to kill the old man. Perhaps whoever tries again will succeed. Perhaps Mrs. Wheeler has something worth saying about Father. She clearly hates him as much as we do. Who cares? I wish Mrs. Wheeler were dead along with Papa and Alistair. Mama? Thank you, Martin and Mrs. Wheeler went. I don't know. I didn't even see them leave. 
Had they stayed along with all of us, this would be a veritable witness waiting room for people testifying against Father for his crimes. Yes. Alistair has hurt each and every one of us. I don't know what Father did to Mrs. Wheeler, but it was certainly enough for her to try to kill the old man. Pilar and Luis and Sheridan have all suffered at his hands. So have you, my love. Kidnapped our son at birth. On top of that, helped Chad wine and dine Whitney, knowing that their relationship was incestuous. And God knows he forced me to be his accomplice in countless evil schemes. I'm, I'm so haunted by the secrets I keep for Father. So many awful secrets. He's caused so much pain for so many people. If Father were to be murdered, each and every one of us would be a suspect. Yes, everyone we know has a reason to want to kill Alistair. 